Hi everyone and welcome to 2015. This would be my first video of the year, which is so cool. I actually wanted my first video to be like a New Year's resolutions video, but there is a more serious topic that I wanted to bring to light and talk about today. This incident has been big news this week and a lot of people know about this and a lot of people don't know about this. So I'm going to recap this for all of you who don't know. A 17 year old transgender teenager committed suicide because her religious parents do not accept her for who she is. Leela left a suicide note on her Tumblr account, which is taken down now, but I will copy and paste the note in the description box below for those who want to read her story. But my reaction to that note was, I pretty much cried because it took me back to a point in my life where I was so depressed and it was such a dark, lonely, quiet place. That was not fun. It was horrible. So reading that message brought me back to that time in my life. And I don't know. I feel like a lot of people can relate to the story and, you know, being depressed, not being accepted. Everyone has been there. We all have been there. And I was getting a lot of messages asking, like, how do you feel about Leela's story? Like, I heard about this story. Of course I have. And I just, I felt like I didn't want to speak about it. I just honestly closed down. I just like went back into my shell and I just didn't want to think about it. I didn't want to talk about it. It just, I don't know. It just triggered something in my brain that made me feel really sad. It just brought me back to a time where, you know, I wasn't fine myself. And it was just heartbreaking to read what she went through. What I find so disturbing and disgusting is that her parents would go on Facebook after their child killed themselves and use the wrong pronouns. Calling their child son, him. That is so wrong. Do you have no shame in yourself as a parent? Your child is gone. Your child is dead. Show a little bit respect for her. If you loved your child, you would make them happy regardless. Their happiness would be your number one key. This news is obviously a tragedy and it is horrible. It is preventable. I just want to let all the parents out there who have children or want to have children to be parents one day is to love your child regardless of their sexual orientation, their gender, or anything about them. If you are going to have children, you are responsible to love them with all your heart. You are their number one support. And if you're not there for them, you failed as a parent. This story brought back so many dark memories in my life that has happened to me and that is still happening to me. You know, my dad still calls me John. He refuses to call me Julie or his daughter. Every time he calls me, he's like, hello, John. And you know how much that breaks my heart. But you know, there are people out there who love me for me, who calls me Julie, who uses the right pronouns. And I just want to say to anyone out there who is feeling alone and by themselves that they are not alone. Okay, when I was... 14 years old and I came out to my parents as homosexual. They wanted nothing to do with me. They hated me. They treated me so poorly. There were times when I wanted to kill myself. And I have dark moments in my life too that not a lot of people know. I don't like to show that side of me. I like to show the happy Julie, the successful, you know, transgender Julie. But I've been through crap too. And I know how hard it is to feel the way that you do. It is definitely hard, but it definitely gets better. You know, when I was 14, I wanted to end my life, but no, I held on because I knew when I got older that I could change my life around and you can too. You might be young and you might seem that life is so hopeless right now, but it is not. When you become older, you have more choices and more opportunities. So don't give up. Just because something is not happening right now doesn't mean it will never happen. No one should ever have to be in a situation where they have to kill themselves. 
No one. That is all I want to talk about today. Very depressing, sad news. We've lost another transgender sister in the community. Um, hopefully we don't lose any more lives. I just want people to realize that, you know, we are all human beings and we're all fighting for something.